John Averger, the artistic director of the Toronto Bach Festival. And this is Discover Bach. Today, we're looking at the opening chorus of the cantata, Die Elenden sollen essen, or The Wretched Shall Eat. The words of this chorus come from the Bible, from Psalm 22, verse 26. We're going to show you some of the subtle details in Bach's setting of this opening movement. The words in English are, the wretched shall eat until they are satisfied, and those that ask after the Lord shall praise him. Your hearts shall live forever. I think Bach considered these words and asked himself, what does wretchedness, what does misery or hunger even sound like in music? And he came up with this. Right from the very beginning, Bach gives us a remarkable sense in music of wretchedness, of devastation and affliction. How does he do this? By creating a sparse open texture with lots of silence and by writing harsh dissonances to create a sense of pain and discomfort. Let's examine some of these opening chords. After this first chord, he might have written this. A bleak sound, to be sure, but that's not what Bach writes. Instead, he writes this. The upper instruments move to the notes of the second chord, but Bach writes the bass to stay on the same note of the first chord, creating a gnawing dissonance. And then, Bach leaves that dissonance hanging in our ear as the oboe, completely alone, plays a series of ascending notes that disappear into the air, like hope evaporating. And then Bach repeats this pattern with a different set of harmonies, and he extends the music to complete this brief instrumental introduction. Now the voices enter with the words, the wretched shall eat. He starts with the alto and he adds the soprano, and he weaves their lines to create painful dissonances in several places. Bach then repeats this music, but this time with the full choir. He starts with the bass and then quickly adds the other three voices. It sounds pretty wretched to me, and I can feel my stomach growling. So far, Bach has only set the first phrase of the opening sentence. Now he goes back to set the complete sentence. The wretched shall eat until they're satisfied. He starts with the tenor and soprano voices and then adds the alto and bass. And it sounds like what we've heard before. <laughs> But when he gets to the words, das zizat werden, or until they are satisfied, he transforms the music from the minor sounding wretchedness into a beautiful statement in the major. 
And here's the whole sentence, starting with wretched and ending with satisfied. That's how Bach interprets the opening lines of this cantata, Die Elenden sollen essen, using subtle details to give us a depiction in music of the text, the wretched shall eat until they are satisfied. Now there's an important point I want to make about listening to and experiencing Bach's music. As we show you in these demonstrations, there are many subtle details in his settings, but that doesn't mean that we have to be consciously aware of these details to be moved by this music. The power of music as an art form is that it speaks directly to our inner experience without needing to be processed by the verbal parts of our brain. All music does this to a greater or lesser degree, but in the hands of a great composer like Johann Sebastian Bach, these details combine to create an extraordinary experience that can connect directly to our deepest emotions, whether our conscious minds are involved or not. If you'd like to hear the complete cantata, please join us on May 26th through 28th, 2023, for the sixth annual Toronto Bach Festival. You'll be able to hear this cantata as well as many other masterpieces by Bach throughout the festival weekend. In the meantime, if you'd like to hear a performance of this chorus performed by the Toronto Bach Festival, click the link on your screen.